My name is Chris McQuinn. I'm the task manager and engineering team lead for uh, the Athlete Rover. Athlete stands for All-Terrain Hexed Limbed Extraterrestrial Explorer. Uh, basically that means we're an off-road vehicle uh, for the moon, uh, for Mars, or even for asteroids. Uh, you have six uh, fully articulated robotic limbs that are designed for mobility. They're designed to move the vehicle about. And what that means is you get four or six uh, very powerful manipulators, so we can be completely modular. Uh, you design a tool for the specific task and then just hang that tool on the vehicle. Uh, any limb can pick up any of those tools and then using the, the wheel actuator that we've designed for mobility, uh, you can then power that tool and, and use it to do useful work. With our ride height and the wheels being on limbs, we can actually step over uh, obstacles, we can step up uh, a, a cliff of moderate size. Um, for uh, asteroid proximity operations, we'd actually use the benefit of the, mo uh, of the limbs that are strong enough for mobility to actually uh, uh, make it so that we don't need to use rockets to slow down uh, before we impact the, uh, the asteroid. So instead we use the, the limbs to absorb that kinetic energy and then we'll also be able to uh, possibly push off and, and bounce from place to place if that's a, a mode of operation that, that uh, after testing proves to be uh, uh, useful. I'm Jeff Norris. I lead the organization at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory that's responsible for the software, the tools, and the people that we use to command many of our missions. Uh, in addition, I'm uh, the leader of a research project that's looking at how to use various technologies, some of them from the gaming industry, to build natural interfaces for controlling complex robotic systems. So the goal of this work is really about taking these robotic systems, which are sort of like our avatars exploring other worlds, and make them easier to uh, understand and control by humans. The first challenge for us is making it possible for people to know what's happening to the robot and what's the condition of the robot when it's you know, millions of kilometers away. Then what's the condition of the environment around the vehicle and then naturally